Good morning friends. Today we will be talking about sprangel shoulder. Sprangel shoulder is the most common congenital shoulder or scapular abnormality. Now what is sprangel shoulder? Sprangel shoulder is a congenital condition which is caused due to improper descent of the shoulder. So it is also called as a congenital elevation of the shoulder. So what happens in the spindle shoulder is that the scapula blade or the shoulder blade is at a higher level. So why is it so? So morphologically, the scapula is a cervical appendages. It is in the neck and in during the course of development of the child in the uh, pregnancy, the scapula descends from the neck to the shoulder level. And if there is any problem during the pregnancy, there is a closure of the embryonic arteries and that leads to improper descent. So the, the scapula which has to descend from the, sh uh, from the neck to the shoulder does not, the descent does not take place and it leads to a problem which is called as a spindle shoulder. So spindle shoulder is basically an elevation, the scapula is up and you have a problem. There are two basic problems. The first problem is a cosmetic problem because your shoulder will be like this and the scapula will be up, that is number one. And the second problem will be an abduction problem. So the, the child will not be able to take the hand full up. So these are the two problems or two uh, difficulties that a child faces. So the diagnosis is pretty simple. It can be uh, di diagnosed during the infancy or during the childhood. Uh, this is seen in both in males and females. It is very, very rarely seen in bilateral cases. So both the sides are involved. It is very rare. Usually the left side is more involved than the, than the right side. And you have some other congenital abnormalities associated. So about one third patients of triple fail syndrome have a spangle shoulder. Same, it is also associated with number of cases of scoliosis. It is also associated with many uh, rib abnormalities and it is also uh, uh, associated with any uh, palate abnormalities like left palate it is also associated with the clavicular abnormalities. So these patients are usually a spectrum of a congenital disorder which is present as a spongial shoulder. Now if a patient, the patient come to you for a spongial shoulder, you need to discuss with him in totality about the condition. We need to discuss with the patient about the con condition and what we can do, help or work, how, we, how we can improve them. Now, as far as the treatment is concerned, we can offer a surgery. The surgery is usually offered between three years to eight years of age. After eight years, the surgery becomes risky because there is high chance of a brachial plexus injury. So ideal time to my um, knowledge is around 4 years to 5 years when we can address it nicely. There are many many uh, many kinds of uh, uh, surgeries which are described for the procedure. The earliest and the most common procedures which are described is Woodward's procedure or a, a modified Woodward's procedure and what it does is we release the scapular muscles from the midline. So we release the muscles from the from the spine level, so from the thoracic spine, we'll remove the trapezius, we'll remove all the muscles, and we'll try to bring the scapula down. Now, one thing I uh, forgot to tell you that there are some, uh, there is a bone which is called as omohyoid, which is very prom uh, prominent, and in about 50% of cases, you need you find a very prominent omohyoid bone, and around 25% of patients you will found found a fibrous band uh, similar to the omohyoid uh, bone. And usually the uh, scapula will be more broader as compared to uh, taller. So it will be a broad and a sh short kind of a scapula. And the scapula will be tilted in this fashion. So it will be tilted like this. So we need to, in the Woodward's procedure, in the mo modified Woodward's procedure, it is released from the midline. So it's a midline surgery. You remove everything from the thoracic spine, the pieces and everything. And you try to bring down the scapula as much as you can. You may need to release the superior medial angle of the scapula and it is recommended that you remove the homohyoid bone and the homohyoid bands if, if possible. The Greens procedure or the modified Greens procedure is done on the other side. So the Greens procedure is done on the scapular side and in which in this also we will remove the superior part of the superior medial part of the scapula. We remove the homohyoid bone, homohyoid band and we'll do the release of the trapezius muscles as well as the rhomboids and the levator scapula 
from the medial edge of the scapula and then we, we, we will tie the scapula in a, in a corrected position we will accommodate it with the serratus anterior also with the latissimus dorsi so we will tie it up in a lower and a reduced position so these are the two most common procedures there is a new procedure that which i also recommend is also called as the mears procedure this procedure has got two advantages number one it's not only a cosmetic procedure it improves the abduction of the shoulder as well so it's a functionally relieving procedure as well that is and it is a smaller incision and a smaller dissection so what is mears procedure in mears procedure we do a scapular osteotomy and correct the procedure so we do a oblique osteotomy of the scapula and correct the position of the scapula not only that we will uh, do a superior lateral release of the scapula as well also we will remove the homohyoid and the superior medial angle of the scapula and we will tie the uh, uh, will shift the scapula into the corrected position besides that the origin or the long head of the triceps is also released from the inferior tubercle of the glenoid so that it also improves the uh, positioning of the scapula and improves the abduction angle the dissection is less the blood loss is less and the patient is not only better cosmetically but also gets a better functional result so in our practice it improves the abduction of her to around 30 to 40 to 50 degrees hence uh, we see that is parental sole shoulder is one of the most common congenital abnormality but it can be addressed nicely if it is uh, approached at the correct age again I like to emphasize that we should avoid doing any procedure or any surgery in spinal shoulder in patients more than 8 years of age due to a high risk of a fracture plexus injury. Also there is one important concept that we must always realize if, if you feel that there is more chances of uh, uh, brachial plexus stretching or injury then it is recommended for us to do a clavicular osteotomy just to release or decompress the brachial plexus so you can just do a uh, midline uh, clavicular osteotomy or you can take a graft and morselize the clavicle just to make it more pliable and reduce the uh, forces on the brachial plexus if you have any doubts regarding spinal shoulder you can post it on the comment box we'll be very happy to answer thank you